I went to the Mecca in 1947. In them days, you could walk out of one centre into another one for a job, you know. Did you choose to, to work in that one, or would you have...? No, well, they offered me the job when I was taking to take the news over, you know, and they offered me the job then, so I took it. I mean, it was an extra night off, and from 17 and 6 to 35 shillings. Big, big, big dump that, wasn't it? Yeah. Because when I, when I finished the Mayfair, I was on £18 a week. I mean, that was rubbish. That's all it was. People thought we were well paid, but we weren't. We were never well paid. Uh, so when you say the newsreels, explain to me what the newsreels were. Well, the newsreel was just a 10 minute reel of national news. National news events throughout the world. Uh, Paramount done one and uh, Gorman British done one. But we shared it with Rivoli, so we showed Gorman British. And that's how I become to get the job in the Mayfair. So I take it those newsreels change daily? No, every th every three days they change. Yeah. I think it was every three, either every three or every week. I think it was every three. As opposed to now we do it every two minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. I remember one day we, uh, when the bloke that was in charge at the time came in and I had a, a mountain of film on the floor. And I, was I, I didn't want to stop the film, you see. And he come in and he panicked, he said, stop that projector. I said, I'll fix it, leave it, I'll fix it. Stop that projector. I said, I said leave it, I said, you've got a full house down there, leave it, I'll get it back. I said, I got it all back in. I said, see what he means, he said, up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget that day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he says, you'll never get that back in. He says, it'll be filthy dirty. <laughs> How did it come out? Snapped. Snapped, it come out. Yeah. You see, sometimes if you're in a hurry, making it up, what I mean is taking out the tin and putting it onto a spool. If you're in a hurry, you never checked it properly. So you just take a chance, you know. But the worst part of taking the chance was when we got the projector Matic, you had silver, little silver marks on the edge of your film, which done something, you either put the lights up or close the curtain or something like that. And if you don't find the false ones that the last man has had on, you'd have all kinds of problems. So in the end, we agreed that we'd phone each other up and remove their marks before they let the film go. And that's what we've done. But it didn't always work out like that, you know. And you, you get in the middle of the picture and your curtain will start coming down, you know. And the manager would turn his hair out like, you know. <laughs> It did happen. Oh, it did happen. Yeah. And I was talking to the, the chap look after our sound equipment, Western Electric, and I say, Dennis, I said, I'll have to do something about this pretty curtain coming down in the middle of the show. I said, I can't have that. So we had a little chat, him and I, and we decided we'd put a little switch at the back of the projector to switch the curtain off. So that stopped the curtain coming down anymore, you know. Oh, the man, you went to hear us. <laughs> yeah. I said, we don't have that problem with the curtain. I said, it won't happen anymore. <laughs> but we had quite a few little things like that with automatic, you know. And so would you be responsible for doing, coming up with those little ideas? Well, this particular idea wasn't exactly mine, but I said we'd have to do some of And this man, we become close friends, this engineer and I, and I asked him, what do you think of something? And he, he come back and done it. And do you yeah. think that was through the cinemas once it turned automatic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he sent, the owner sent me out to witness, actually, to see the first one, you know. And then he said, that's the end of your nine operators playing cards in the staff room. <laughs> So what would the nine do? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. Yeah. 